surrounded by his family. Former Alaska Senator Ted Stevens left the courthouse today and walked away a free man. Now it's the Justice Department that's on trial. Citing shocking misconduct by the government, Judge Emmett Sullivan took the extraordinary step of appointing his own special prosecutor to launch a criminal contempt investigation of the attorneys who prosecuted Stevens. In nearly 25 years on the bench, Sullivan said, I've never seen anything approaching the mishandling and misconduct that I've seen in this case. Six government prosecutors are accused of ignoring court orders, withholding evidence, and even fabricating evidence. I think what's most shocking about all of this are the allegations that these prosecutors or the people who work for them may have absolutely fabricated evidence, which is an order of magnitude worse than simply not turning over certain documents. If charged and convicted, the government lawyers could go to prison. But Stevens, convicted last October of hiding $250,000 worth of gifts, is off the hook. In court, the 85-year-old Stevens, who lost his Senate seat in November, said the actions of prosecutors nearly destroyed my faith. Their conduct had consequences for me that they will never realize. Then, upon hearing the charges dismissed, the combative ex-senator, known for his incredible hawk necktie, raised a fist in celebration as his wife and daughters began to cry. Now, the Justice Department has already launched its own internal investigation of the prosecutors, but the judge made it perfectly clear today he does not trust the government alone to reach a timely and fair conclusion. Katie? Bob Orr in Washington. Thanks, Bob.